Blake Shelton talks The Voice return, compares himself to Pat Sajak undeniably, Blake Shelton prides himself in being a mainstay on the popular show The Voice. After his longtime tenure, he compares himself to Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak. Additionally, he teases a possible comeback for the show. Blake Shelton is a legend for The Voice in 2023. Blake Shelton left The Voice fans in shock by leaving abruptly. Unmistakably, he had been a staple of the show since its start. After 23 back-to-back -back seasons, Blake admitted he needed a break. While Blake was a fixture on the show since its first season in 2011, he knew it was time to do something else. Without a doubt, he still holds the record for most wins by a coach on The Voice. Notably, he took the win in nine different seasons. Additionally, following Blake's lead, his wife, Gwen Stefani, left the show soon after him in 2024 before the start of season, Blake Shelton compares himself to Pat Sajak with Blake Shelton's long run on The Voice. He easily identifies with longtime Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak. Undoubtedly, the years of filming have taken its toll on Blake. Furthermore, he compares himself to Pat's iconic host role of 41 years. Blake says, I've done it for 23 seasons without missing a single season, you know? While Blake's stint didn't last nearly as long as Pat's, he thinks he understands what Pat must be feeling as he approaches retirement. Blake exclaims, I know what you feel like, Pat Sajak. Admittedly, he knows how tired he was after 23 seasons and can imagine the dedication it takes to stick with one job for 41 years. Then relating, Blake adds, because that's kind of how I was starting to feel, the voice took its toll all in all. Blake Shelton reflects on what the trade for a career like The Voice or Wheel of Fortune takes, adding, if you're on back-to-back -back seasons, there's really no time for any other thing, you know? Accordingly, he points out, if you didn't want to have a family and a life that much, you could do it, but something has to give. It was time for The Voice to be thing that gives. Furthermore, Blake previously admitted the seasons were catching up with him. The second I started feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember what season this is anymore. Who are the coaches on this season? I knew that I needed to get away from here, additionally telling today that it was a difficult decision for him. He says, I think I was close to calling it a day right when COVID hit. And then because of COVID, I didn't want to walk away from the show and leave everybody in a bind. Blake Shelton teases a return, although Blake Shelton doesn't seem to be in a hurry to return to The Voice, he has a few instances he teases that would warrant a comeback. In an interview with Extrat Von Sunday, he says, I don't ever plan on working at The Voice again, further adding, who knows, that's me sitting here as I say that right now. And he says, I can't say I wouldn't come by for a surprise appearance. He's thankful he met Gwen Stefani. Tick Tick additionally, showing his gratitude for his time on the show, he says, that show is the greatest and most important thing I've ever been a part of in my career. It changed my life. Admittedly, it sounds like Blake left on good terms. He says, when I left, I feel like I really left, we all love each other. Likewise, Blake is thankful for the opportunity the show gave him to connect with his now wife, Gwen Stefani. Ideal conditions for his return during an interview on Thursday with Entertainment Tonight, Blake Shelton discusses one perfect scenario for his return to The Voice's big red chair. Blake says, if they were ever able to put together the original four coaches again, maybe I'd return for one season a one-off, referring to a reunion with Adam Levine, Christina Aguilera, and Chilo Green. He says, that would be fun for me. That would be something I would be interested in doing. What do you think about the idea of Blake Shelton returning to The Voice? Do you think his experience is comparable to Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak's time on the show? Are you enjoying the current coaches on The Voice? Drop your comments below. Blake Shelton, the country music star who spent over a decade as a coach on The Voice, recently opened up about his return to the show, albeit in a slightly different capacity, and made a surprising comparison between himself and TV legend Pat Sajak, the longtime host of Wheel of Fortune. Shelton, who announced his departure from The Voice after 23 seasons, had become a fan favorite for his witty banter, genuine mentorship, and playful rivalries with fellow coaches. Now, as he reflects on his journey and speculates about his new role, he finds humor and wisdom in comparing himself to one of television's most enduring personalities. The return of a legend Blake Shelton's decision to step down as a coach on The Voice in 2023 shocked many fans. After all, Shelton had become synonymous with the show, 
guiding numerous contestants to victory and becoming a pillar of the series since its inception in 2011. His charm, humor, and down-to-earth nature helped define the voice and made him a beloved figure, not only to the contestants he mentored, but also to the millions of viewers who tuned in season after season. Shelton's exit, however, was more of a transition than a full departure. While he stepped away from the spinning red chair, he made it clear that he wasn't saying goodbye to the voice forever. In interviews, he hinted at future involvement with the show, albeit in a different capacity. I may not be a coach anymore, Shelton said with a grin, but I'm not done with the voice family. You'll still see me around. Recently, Shelton returned to the voice, not as a coach, but in a more relaxed, occasional guest role. This return, though less frequent, has reignited excitement among fans who missed his humor and mentorship. While Shelton's new role on the show is still evolving, he's taken a more reflective tone about his past coaching career and where he sees himself now. Comparing himself to Pat Sajak in discussing his long tenure on The Voice and his feelings about staying connected to the show, Shelton made an interesting comparison between himself and Pat Sajak, who has been hosting Wheel of Fortune since 1981. Sajak, much like Shelton, has become a beloved television figure, famous for his smooth hosting style, quips, and the effortless rapport he shares with co-host Vanna White and the contestants on the show. For over four decades, Sajak has been the face of Wheel of Fortune, guiding contestants and viewers through thousands of episodes with his characteristic wit and charm. Shelton joked about how both he and Sajak have been mainstays on their respective shows, and he lightheartedly mused that he could see himself following a similar path. You know, I never thought I'd be like Pat Sajak, Shelton laughed. But here I am, realizing that when you stick with something long enough, you become part of the furniture. I'm the voice's Pat Sajak. I just need to figure out who my Vanna White is. This comparison holds more than just humor, though. Like Sajak, Shelton's ability to connect with people, to make them feel at ease, and to create an engaging atmosphere has been key to his success on The Voice. He has the rare gift of making television feel personal, whether it's offering heartfelt advice to a contestant or trading playful jabs with fellow coaches like Adam Levine or Kelly Clarkson. Much like Sajak's steady hand has anchored Wheel of Fortune for decades, Shelton's presence on The Voice became a stabilizing and familiar force. Reflections on his coaching legacy, Blake Shelton's reflection on his time on The Voice also carries a sense of pride and accomplishment. Having mentored several winners and countless other contestants who have gone on to build successful music careers, Shelton's legacy as a coach is undeniable. In a recent interview, he shared how much the role had meant to him personally and professionally. It wasn't just about winning seasons or coaching artists to victory. It was about helping people grow both musically and personally, Shelton said. I take a lot of pride in the relationships I built with the artists. Some of them have become like family. His connection with the artists extended beyond the show, with Shelton frequently offering advice and support to contestants long after the competition ended. This, too, mirrors the enduring role Pat Sajak plays on Wheel of Fortune not just as a host, but as a consistent, reliable presence in the lives of those who tune in. Shelton's return to the voice, in whatever capacity it takes, feels like a continuation of that legacy rather than a goodbye.